the gospel today, the Lord invites us to take the risk with him. But this is not that simple. It is because he talks about losing all and gaining all. Loss and gain. Lose all first, then gain all. We give everything to God and then he can give us the price over and infinitely beyond what we have given. The most fundamental option we have in life is whether to follow Jesus or not. It is easy to say yes to his invitation, but we are made to realize what it entails. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself take up his cross and follow me. Hence, many people are afraid to follow Jesus. They cannot bear the prospect of carrying the cross. They cannot endure the specter of losing everything. This is because they think that happiness is achieved by getting whatever they want. They always equate happiness with getting and having more. What they fail to realize is that happiness is achieved not by getting, but giving everything to God. To become a saint, we are to go all the way for Christ. Then Tracy of Lisieux puts it, you cannot be a half saint. You must be an all saint or no saint at all. We are to invest everything that we have all that we are. All the saints have made this all-important decision, investing everything for God, giving everything to God, taking all the risk for God. And they are completely right. For them, the cross is a burden that is sweet to bear in view of the priceless reward that awaits them. For St. John Vianney, yesterday we reflected about his story. The cross is so precious, not only in view of the reward, but as the best way to become truly Christ-like. In the Gospel today, the Lord invites us to ask ourselves this question. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Everything in this world is passing away. Of what use are our worldly possessions, power, and fame, when all these will come to nothing in the end? We must be wise enough to realize that the only one that does not pass away is God. And holding on to him, no matter what happens, is the best decision we can make in our life. Let us ponder on the words of the famous poem of St. Teresa of Avila. Let nothing disturb you, nothing frighten you. All things are passing, God never changes. Patient endurance as attains to all things. Whoever possesses God is wanting in nothing. God alone suffices. <laughs>